For the last 35 years, our team has done research on personalized audio ads. And in today's conversation, I'll be spilling a lot of gems. I'll give you a lot of a lot of tips and tricks and hacks on how to really, really deliver a great experience when it comes to personalized audio ads. So here's the overview I really want you to pay attention to. So the whole thing here is that when you think about audio ads, you got to think about the ability to reach a, a customer deep inside, deep inside at a very core level. And it's, it's one of those things where you think about what well, people talk about. Well, when I want to really uh, have a, if I want to have a personalized audio ad experience for my listeners, what do I do? Well, the good thing is that you have several techniques. You have a pro programmatic audio. You have a regular audio advertising. It's also important to understand that the, the quality of audio in uh, the ads plays an important role. And as a matter of fact, in the last five years, five to seven years, it has been a game changer. With a lot of uh, players and a lot of new players in the uh, in the market the use of uh, ai to induce a certain type of behavior and what we have seen here is that a lot of customers are responding favorably to the changes by the way welcome back to the show boss really appreciate having you here and having this quick convo with you about best practices for personalized audio ads so the thing is when we talk about personalized audio ads you got to really think about the cost of audio production of course you're trying to personalize the the uh, the ad experience for your listeners yeah but how much will, will this cost you and if you're a marketer how much will it would this cost your clients or like if you're an a if you're an agency how much will it cost the, your client if you're listening to me right now you are a small business owner and you're just interested in the topic of uh, personalized audio ads and you really want to have a bespoke audio ads for for your visitors for your listeners how much will how much will this, will this cost you well you have a lot of ways of doing it you can actually hire uh, folks on a freelancer website such as a uh, fiverr upwork or, or what have you you can actually hire an agency so you can outsource a whole operation to the agency you can do things yourself if you are creatively inclined if you have uh, some uh, artistic uh, abilities you can actually try things yourself or you can actually have a, an in-house team that does the work for you. So the, the thing is, when we talk about personalized audio ads, there has to be a strategy behind it. Like you can't just like do things randomly. Like, you know, I want to have a personalized audio ads, whatever. No, you got to really think it through from A to Z. So when we talk about thinking it thinking things through from A to Z, you got to really first think about that when you are trying to have a personalized audio ads, you are trying first and foremost to deliver more value. That's the goal. You want to deliver more value. And, and the thing here is that how do you deliver more value if you are able to actually uh, connect with customers at a very deep level? By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. Once again, I appreciate having you here and uh, and really having this quick convo with you. And uh, I also want to quickly talk to you about today's topic. We are having a conversation about how to create personalized audio ads, how to really deliver value, how to deliver a great sonic experience to your customers all the way through. So the thing is that in principle, radio and audio ads are not rocket science. Still, they do require serious planning concept work and flawless execution. That's what I was, I was just talking to you earlier about when I said it demands a strategy. You got to have a clear strategy and it has to have impeccable execution. And so these things often take months, which equals to a lot of expenses and time for your company. The worst part of it is that you have no idea how the campaign will go down your, your, your audience and what will resonate with your audience and uh, what you could have done better. Like you really find out at the end, which is really crazy. It's a, it's a crazy uh, concept, but yeah, this is how it works. Okay. And the challenge is that audio production is not scalable. Yes, you can create three or four different versions and test them against each other, but not, not only will that increase your production cost, it's also still very limited in terms of version testing. So first of all, you gotta, you gotta be clear about the fact that production cost and time to market are important elements in your cost analysis. Instead of hiring an ad agency, contracting a matching voice actor, booking a studio, hiring an audio engineer, and polishing things up in post-production, you can do all of this now with uh, with platforms on the internet. You have AI-powered platforms that are actually allow you to do things uh, a, lot clear, a lot more clearly. And that's what I want you to really think about. See, the whole thing here is that, uh, you know, instead of uh, going through different stages of the 
audio production uh, process. Why don't you just uh, go with AI? Go with like nowadays, there are platforms, AI driven platforms that deliver the same experience, whether you want to do regular audio or you want to do programmatic audio. And that's is really important. So when you think about best practices, the first thing is think about outsourcing the, the whole thing to an, uh, an AI driven audio platform. I want to talk to you also about personalization and dynamic content. So this is an important element. Those are two, those are two elements that are part of the same equation though. So dynamic content means what? It means that you are delivering, let's say a, a, um, an experience, a sonic experience to your listeners across the board in, uh, like it has to change things that you can't let lethargy, you can't get, you can't let lethargy, you can't let like, uh, you know, monotony, get into your, uh, your audio branding, not at all. Just imagine a drugstore offering a specific product range in some, but not all, all of their stores. Another case will be offering discounts for a sunscreen when it's hot outside and umbrellas when it's raining. You can now create automated ads. that are personalized with different variables, making each ad feel personal and relevant to the listener. So when we talk about dynamic content, we're speaking about bespoke content. We're speaking about speaking to the core, to, to speaking to the customer at the core. Okay. Another example would be offering tickets, tickets for the artists you're listening to on Shopify. If they have a concert coming up in your area or a supermarket offering daily deals. So you can see here where, where I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going, I'm talking about bespoke content. I'm, I'm speaking about dynamic content, but personalized. Okay. And so recording this, like all of this is audic let's say uh, all, all, all of those are audio examples will not only be expensive, but also the turnaround time will take longer than the offer being valid. Right? So, and, and there are count countless other options in industries such as gaming, health, education, and more. The bottom line, the bottom line here is what you, if you, you need to have a system in place where you can streamline the production of uh, personalized audio ads very quickly. So another, another, what, another best practice we have seen here is that if you, again, if you are able to automate the whole thing using AI or, or bots or chats, like, don't worry about the, the sound being like the, the sound being too robotic. It will not because the technology nowadays is so advanced that you have a different, they have a, a constellation of a sound taps, a constellation of audio experiences that you can create just, just like, uh, from your from your company like in like in-house having the right tools though let's talk about a b and multivariate testing so a b testing you probably heard about this in other industries you heard about it in e-commerce. You heard about this in, uh, in in affiliate marketing. You heard you heard about it in uh, sales funnel strategies, all that kind of stuff. So, and you can you you've also heard about multivariate testing. So when we talk about A/B testing versus multivariate testing, multivariate testing just means that you are testing various various variables. A/B testing, you're testing two scenarios. Very simple. I'm trying. I'm oversimplifying a complex. Uh, a complex process though, but in the interest of time, I just want you to really picture this. When you think about AB testing, you're doing two and multivariate testing, you're, you're doing several. And so given that audio production with, uh, in general is, uh, it can be very slow, can be costly. If you switch to a tool, it can be online. It can be AI driven, an AI driven tool or an AI driven strategy. You are able to scale things faster. You are able to uh, you are able to create an unlimited number of versions of your ad, right? And that's what you want, because basically, if you are able to have a, to have a machine, you you are able to have like different iterations of the ad, and you can and so you so basically, and you can do this in one day. You can do this in one day, and so you don't have to wait for hours or days or weeks or whatever for the audio production team to get back to you, and then you have to you have to they have to record, they have to so you have to. Uh, Test it. You have to, no, 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 you don't have to review anything. You can actually, you have a several versions of your ad and you can try different copies, personalized and non-personalized content, different music choices or different speakers. Cause the, the goal here is, is to do what? A B testing 
or multivariate testing. So you so you're testing several variables simultaneously in your research. And there is literally no limits to how many versions of your ad you can produce within minutes. And the, the cool thing here is that uh, if you're able to have, uh, let's say, a different catalog, like an exp let's say a broad catalog of uh, audio ads to test, you are able to see exactly which one works and which one that doesn't. And this will make it incredibly easy to hand your ad over to a wide variety of advertising players. So there is no reason not to optimize your audio advertising campaign in the same way you would optimize your search or display campaign. The, those elements respond to the same requirements. Let me give you a few pro tips here. So when we talk about uh, creating personalized audio ads, you, you probably have understood so far that I'm talking about using AI-driven tools to actually create personal personalized ads faster because you can still create personalized ads manually or like the, the, the old old school way by actually uh, you know doing things in-house, like I said, doing things in-house or outsourcing the whole operation. But the thing is that when we talk about AI right now, we're talking about bots. We're speaking about automating the whole production. This is a game changer in advertising. I mean, we've been in this industry for 35 years, 30 to 35 years, and we've seen that the AI is really, really, really introducing a game changer, a game changing uh, attitude in the industry. So all of this means that for the first time, you can now truly treat your audio advertising as a programmatic channel. And that's the key word, programmatic because you are trying to really understand that you're trying to program everything and you're trying to deliver a, an audio experience, a sonic brand experience to your listeners that is uh, unparalleled. And uh, it's very fast to produce using the right tools. You can create an unlimited number of versions of one-on-one uh, -on -one targeting, and you can now optimize your campaign on a granular, on a granular level never seen before. See, when we talk about audio experience in general, when we talk about personalized audio ads, we have to pay attention to granularity. We have to pay attention to details. We have to pay attention to the type of uh, audio experience we are delivering. Okay, so you're able to use the right tool to create thousands of audio files in under one minute, 10 minutes. Okay, you can also use the, uh, any tools that there. I mean, we have, an, uh, we have a big, a big uh, show that comes, that will come very soon, that will actually uh, review the best let's say AI driven audio tools out there that you can use for regular audio advertising or programmatic audio advertising. Okay. So, and you can also use the tools for like voiceovers over like voiceovers for your videos. So really fantastic. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm, I'm speaking about how to create personalized audio ads, the best practices we have heard or we have seen in the last 20 to 35 years. Let me give you the steps I really want you to follow here. And the thing here is that if you are trying to create, let's say, um, personalized audio ads, you got to have a, 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 the right strategy. Okay. And the right strategy here is that you need to understand that personalization becomes very important. Personalization plays a pivotal role in the success of marketing and advertising campaigns today, not only in audio, but also in video and mobile and all kinds of stuff. Okay. And the, the, the goal here is that if you're thinking about creating a wonderful experience with with uh, AOH, like, uh, you know, audio out of home technology, you need to really think about what resonates with folks at what time. See, because what, what resonates with the listeners is not the same thing. Uh, it, does, it, it, it changes. It changes all the time. So it, this is an element where you have to ask yourself, am I offering the right the, the right approach here? Am I offering the right strategy here in terms of a uh, branding experience and branding experience plays an important role. Don't get me wrong. Branding experience plays an important role in terms of uh, nudging your customers in the right way. And, uh, and so one thing I want to say here is that audio OOH is really a game changer because audio OOH is venue based and not device specific. It doesn't require personal data or request the use of privacy to work effectively. Instead, Audio OOH focuses on the in-store customer experience. 
it's basically technology that broadcasts premium music and programmatic advertisements to enrich in-store customer experience and reach shoppers directly at the point of sale, ultimately influencing buying decisions and positively uh, impacting sales. The bottom line here is that you are trying to induce customers to do certain things to maybe boost revenue, to maybe buy more, to stay longer in the store, or just to get to, to get the uh, you know to get out, out of the store real fast. Let's say if you have a small store and you're just trying to have a like space, you want people to come in, just buy stuff, and just leave. Then you can try to have a a uh, an audio experience, a sonic experience, where you you want customers to come in and just leave. This is totally possible. Also, okay, this is totally possible, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the the idea here is to for you to have a personalized store experience. Of course, you want to have a personalized store experience, but you also want to uh, to direct customers to do what you want them to do. That's what we call we call a uh, audio CTA. So audio call to action. So you are, or, or sonic call to action. The goal here is to boost revenue, to reach your operational goals, but also make sure that the customers are happy. They are having a wonderful experience while at your store or while at your venue. <laughs> The thing is that when you analyze uh, the the personalized ads, personalized audio ads in the end, you will see that there is a clear ROI, return on investment between uh, audio ads and uh, the kind of technology you use. The technology can be uh, AI driven platforms or it can be uh, audio OOH technology. Again, OOH means out of home experience. So the thing here is that, you know, if we were to think about uh, the, uh, the how, let's say historically, how stores, how venues, how establishments will use uh, audio ads to actually influence customers, it's basically based on the type of customer, right? If you have a younger audience, you are playing like a uh, loud music. And uh, if you have a, an older audience, you're playing uh, quieter music. It sometimes is based also on the location. So basically, if you are in an area, depending on the like, you know, if you are in a quote unquote sophisticated area in town, you play, you tap, you tend to play a certain type of music versus if you are in other, you were in other areas. And it also depends on uh, the, it depends on the seasonality. So during the holidays, you know, around uh, like in the last two months of the year, most, most stores, most establishments tend to play more jolly music, you know, music that makes people feel good and, you know, being be in the holiday experience. Now, the thing is that you have to shift at least uh, partially towards a personalized, uh, I would say personalized audio ad experience or sonic experience in general. It doesn't have to be ad. It can be anything else. The goal here is that you want to use audio OOH technology so out of home technology to create the, the type of experience the listener would want to listen to at home. See, the whole thing is when we have audio OOH technology, out of home technology, we want to create the same experience that the customer would have, would have loved to have at home, even though the customer is not at home. Okay. And you can use it in different, in different, um, let's say in different settings in different venues for different products from hair shampoo and conditioner to skincare, to dry package dinner mixes to pet food to uh, to adult beverages you can do a lot of things and it's all about what really works for your for your audience it's all about you knowing your audience you knowing your listeners and know okay if i do if i play this kind of music if i play this kind of sound they will react a certain way if i play this that so it it's all about using what, what really works for your, uh, your your company and also adapt it you have to constantly adapt very important Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about creating personalized audio ads. And uh, so I give you the overview, the approach, the pro tips, the steps you need to follow and the bonus. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.